Hey there guys, in this video we're going to be solving the 2002 Sweden Math Olympiad problem where we have a symmetrical system of equations with two equations and two variables. But notice that both of these equations are in a single variable and we don't have any relation between A and B, so we need to create that relation by combining both of these equations. Anyways, this is a really cool problem and we're supposed to evaluate A plus B so let's go ahead and do that. But before we do that, consider subscribing and ring the bell to not miss my latest videos. So first of all, notice that x minus 1 all cubed equals x cubed minus 3x squared plus 3x minus 1. Then notice that our first equation is a cubed minus 3a squared plus 5a equals 17. So let's go ahead and break down 5a into 3a plus 2a. So we're going to have a cubed minus 3a squared plus 3a plus 2a equals 17. Next, let's go ahead and subtract 1 from both sides to get this. And then we can go ahead and compare this with this. Obviously, they are of the same form, which means that I can go ahead and say that this is a minus 1 all cubed. So we have a minus 1 all cubed plus 2a equals 16. Next, let's go ahead and do the same thing with the second equation. So the second equation is b cubed minus 3b squared plus 5b equals negative 11. So I can go ahead and rewrite the left-hand side as b cubed minus 3b squared plus 3b plus 2b equals negative 11. And then I can subtract 1 from both sides. And then I can replace this with b minus 1 all cubed. So we have b minus 1 all cubed plus 2b equals negative 12. Next, let's go ahead and rewrite these two together. So we have a minus 1 all cubed plus 2a minus 16 equals 0. And we have b minus 1 all cubed plus 2b plus 12 equals 0. Next, let's go ahead and replace negative 16 with negative 14 minus 2. So we're going to have a minus 1 all cubed plus 2a minus 2 minus 14 equals 0. And then let's break 12 into 14 minus 2. So we're going to have b minus 1 all cubed plus 2b minus 2 plus 14 equals 0. Next, notice that I can go ahead and factor out a 2 out of these 2. So I'm going to have 2 times a minus 1. And I can factor out a 2 out of these 2 to get 2 times b minus 1. So I'm going to go ahead and use substitution method. And I'm going to say that alpha equals a minus 1 and beta equals b minus 1. So by doing these replacements, our system of equations is going to be equivalent to this. Alpha cubed plus 2 alpha minus 14 equals 0. And beta cubed plus 2 beta plus 14 equals 0. Great. Next, let's go ahead and add these two equations. So we're going to get alpha cubed plus beta cubed plus 2 alpha plus 2 beta equals 0. And then let's go ahead and try to factor the left-hand side. So obviously we have a sum of two cubes here. So we can factor it into alpha plus beta times the quantity alpha squared plus beta squared minus alpha times beta. And then we can factor out a 2 out of these two to get 2 times alpha plus beta. Then alpha plus beta is our common factor, so we can pull it out, 
And if you do so, we're going to have alpha plus beta times the quantity alpha squared plus beta squared minus alpha beta plus 2. And the whole thing is equal to 0. So we have a product, and the product is equal to 0. So based on the zero product property, we have two cases. Either alpha plus beta equals 0, or alpha squared plus beta squared uh, minus alpha beta plus 2 equals 0. Now remember that alpha is a minus 1 and beta is b minus 1. So from the first equation, we're going to get a minus 1 plus b minus 1 equals 0, which means that a plus b minus 2 equals 0, which means that a plus b equals 2. And if you remember, we wanted to evaluate a plus b, so we just did that. But uh, from the second equation, we're not going to get anything because if we go ahead and multiply everything by 2, we're going to get 2 alpha squared plus 2 beta squared minus 2 alpha beta plus 4 equals 0. And then we can break the left hand side into alpha squared plus beta squared minus 2 alpha times beta plus alpha squared plus beta squared plus 4 equals 0. But notice that this is a perfect square, so I can replace it with alpha minus beta all squared. So we have alpha minus beta all squared plus alpha squared plus beta squared plus 4 equals 0. But notice that all of these are non-negative and 4 is positive. Therefore, the left-hand side is something positive. And something positive cannot be equal to 0. So we're not going to get any solution from this. Therefore, we're not going to find any value for a plus b from this. So the only value we can find for a plus b is 2. Great. So this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching this video. Please consider subscribing for more contents like this and hit the like button if you enjoyed watching this. Hopefully I will see you later. Goodbye for now.